No, it's been it's been a little fun catching up on some of the things I I, I missed out on. Apparently, Yed was supposed to do a uh, interview with some Twitch streamer that's a retard. Like he's he's brain dead. Like he chewed on a power cord. I don't know. He's he seems to be fucking clinically retarded. But the guy uh, apparently dropped the interview. <laughs> chews on power cords. Pippa. Oh no, I heard. Yeah, I guess we can talk about Pippa for a minute. I hear uh, uh, Pippa did a foot reveal stream and made eighty bajillion dollars because her audience is fully perverted. Man, I. I don't know what I'm doing over here on Odyssey. I just got to get a voice changer and then a cartoon avatar. And then just tell people, when you get me to 100,000 subs and uh, uh, $1.5 million foot reveal time, I, I hear I hear she was literally rolling in dosh. It's just there's throwing money at Pippa. Nothing but, nothing but nonstop money. <laughs> oh. Uh, you know what's going to happen, too? I, I was actually thinking about this after after hearing the story of how much she made and how much her audience was uh, pushing for this. Every one of those VTuber girls is going to do this now because that's so much money on the table. There's no way they're walking away from that. <laughs> the future of YouTube is going to be jerry-rigged, or, or, you know, jerry-rigged, whatever, little marionette CG puppets <laughs> with chicks waiting till they hit $10,000 in donos and showing their feet. That's it. We move from like Let's Plays and uh, video game reviews to cartoon rabbit girls showing their feet for, for enough money to buy a house. <laughs> what the, f what, I don't know, what do you call that economy? It's not an analog economy. That's more over on this side of the internet. Cartoon rabbit girl feet economy? I don't like the future, somebody said. Chain reaction, simps need boot camp. I think uh, the foot fetishists would enjoy it if it's called boot camp. So I don't know if that's really going to work the way you're thinking. <laughs> it's going to. They probably think that's, oh my God, Pippa wants to send me to boot camp? Okay. How much, where do I donate? Where do I donate? Pippa out there making dollars. <laughs> it's, the world is so weird. Oh, I don't know. You know, when I, when I started out on the internet, uh, watching people do weird shit and just kind of watching it grow from mostly being text-based bulletin board shit forum stuff into, you know, web 2.0. I didn't envision a point. I didn't envision a point where there'd be a cartoon foot economy on YouTube and we'd have rappers running around in gimp masks <laughs> and former presidents selling NFTs and uh, dudes named Bakeman having their tits eaten off by rats in the Bahamas. Like, we've, we're, we're really on the, the wild track here for an ending for 2022. I don't know where next year's going to take us. I'm not 100% sure what that's going to look like. But I got a good feeling it's going to go from the year of the Chud to just plain crazy town. And I'm all for it. I'm all for good old-fashioned plain crazy town. <laughs> you got to get that house somehow from Neela Moon and Chat. That's true. Make that money. Earn that money. You know, there was some, there was some OnlyFans chick. I remember there's like a, a screen cap of this going around uh, where she's like, fuck you. I bought a house with it. You know, do something about it. She went out there and made that money. So some 20-year-old owns uh, a house outright, owns a car outright. I mean, it's really, it's like a, it, it's like a, a race, isn't it? Between chicks that like do OnlyFans stuff and then dudes, mostly, that are into crypto on who can make the most money quickest off the most ridiculous shit. Now, I think the crypto bros are way ahead on this because you're talking billions of dollars. But maybe for the speed of accumulation, the thoughts might have an edge. So it's like, it's like the long game, more money or the short game, quick money. It's, a, it's become a competition between men and women on the internet of who's going to make the most in the most ridiculous manner. From Asplaster205, can't watch the stream, but I wanted to ask if you saw that Pippa made your year-long wish come true. And she, I don't know how this is my year-long wish. What I had people do was super chat me to bring this up and then, I guess, put pressure on Pippa to do it? I've been gay opt, <laughs> but at least I made a few bucks doing it. Later. This is basically, this is basically Murdoch Chan's going to go through a representation of what happened to Pippa. This, you're going to see what happened to Pippa really quickly happen with Murdoch Chan. <laughs> I forgot that was in this episode. Hey, Super Chats are a great way of raising money. We just make $15 in an hour. Oops, I spilled coffee on my shirt. That's fine, I've got another shirt under here anyway. Look, what just happened? We made more in 10 seconds than in the whole last hour. I guess they just think we're really smart. Nah, it's pretty obvious. They're into your boobs. What? They might only pay a few dollars to hear us talk, but pull out a little cleavage, and it's like the shekels just start pouring in. Ugh, but it feels wrong using my body that way. Gross. Come on, Rock chan I need you to be a team player. I mean, how else are we going to save- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Perfect subtlety. Perfect subtlety. Player. I mean, how else are we going to save the white race except by buying the frozen head of Walt Disney to ensure a stable supply of white anime for the ethno state? Well, as long as we don't take it too far. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Thank you, Smith. Oh my god. Thank you, Matthew. Oh my god. I'm just <laughs> Don't you? 
<laughs> I told you this is this is oh my god, Pippa, you got Murdoch chin and you didn't even notice. Oh my god, this is this <laughs> this is what happened to you. Oh boy.